Okay. Today, study and success team are going to explain computer hardware components. So let's start. Ria, why have you called us here? Yeah, Ria, what happened? Do you know what is tomorrow? Tomorrow is Monday. No. Tomorrow is 10th May. No, tomorrow is our computer test. Have you both prepared? Yeah, I am prepared. Me too. But I am not. Oh, don't worry, dear. We'll help you. Yes, we will help you. First, I will explain internal and external hardware. Ria, is my screen visible? Yeah, Niyati. External and internal hardware, the parts of a computer that are visible since they are located outside the computer case are called external hardware. And the parts of a computer that are visible, that are situated inside the computer case are, and are visible when the case is opened are called internal hardware. So some examples of external hardware components of a computer are monitor, keyboard, mouse, printer, speaker, and digital camera. Now we will study about electronic output device that is also known as a video display terminal or a video display unit. It is used to display images, text, video, and graphic information. The first monitor was introduced on 1st March, 1973 which was a part of Xerox Alto computer system. Keyboard. A keyboard is one of the primary input devices used with a computer. Similar to an electric typewriter, a keyboard is composed of buttons used to create letters, numbers, and symbols and perform additional functions. There are actually 104 keys installed on the current keyboard. Mouse. A mouse is a small hardware input device used by hand. It controls the movement of the cursor on the screen, on the computer screen, and allows users to move and select folders, text, files, and icons on the computer. It is an object which needs to put on a hard flat surface to use. When the users move the mouse, the cursor moves in the same direction on the display screen. Speaker. A speaker is an output hardware device that connects to a computer to generate sound. Speakers work by converting electrical energy into mechanical energy. The mechanical energy compresses air and converts the motion into sound energy. Printer. A printer is a hardware output device that is used to generate hard copy and print any document. A document can be of any type, such as a text file, image, or combination of both. It accepts input command by users on the computer or on, or on other devices to print the documents. Digital camera. A digital camera is a camera that captures photographs in digital memory. Most cameras produced today are digital. Digital and digital movie cameras share an optical system, typically using a lens with a variable diaphragm to focus light onto an image pickup device. Now some examples of internal hardware components of a computer are RAM, ROM, hard disk, motherboard, BIOS, and modem. 
RAM. RAM stands for Random Access Memory. It is also known as the main memory. It stores the information your computer is actively using so that it can be accessed quickly. Now RAM. Now ROM. ROM stands for read-only memory, the memory from which we can only read but cannot write on it. The information is stored permanently. Now we will study hard disk. Hard disk is an electron, electromechanical data storage device that stores and retrieves digital data using magnetic storage and one or more rapid, rigid rapidly rotating patterns coated with magnetic material. It is usually installed internally in a computer attached directly to the disk controller of the computer's motherboard. Now we will study about motherboard. Alternatively referred as MB, main board, base board, main circuit board on Ample computers, the motherboard is a printed circuit board and foundation of a computer that is the biggest board in the computer chest. It, al it allocates power and allows communication to and between the CPU, RAM and all other computer hardware components. Now we will study BIOS. Short for Basic Input Output System, the BIOS is a ROM chip found on the motherboard that allows you to access and set up your computer system at the most basic level. Now we will study modem. A modulator demodulator or simply a modem is a hardware device that converts data from a digital format indeed for communication directly between devices with specialized wiring into one into one suitable for a transmission medium transmission medium such as a telephone line or radio a modem modulates one or more carrier wave signal to encode digital information for transmission and demodulate signal to decode the transmitted information. So Ria, did you understand anything? Janiyati. Now Ria, I will show you. Now I will explain you input, output, and storage devices. Ria, is my screen is visible? Yeah, Marika. Okay. Input, output, and storage devices. Input devices. In computing, an input device is a piece of equipment used to provide data and control signals to an information processing system, such as a computer or information appliance. Binary digits. The binary digits is a basic unit of information in computing and digital communications. The binary digit represents a logical state with one of two pass possible values. Exam now here are some examples of input devices, keyboard, mouse, microphone, webcam, scanner, etc. Now here you can see some images of input devices. Now keyboard and mouse. A computer keyboard is an input device that allow a person to enter letters, numbers and other symbols into a computer. Using a keyboard to enter lots of data is called typing. A keyboard contains many mechanical switches or push button called keys. Mouse. A computer mouse is a handheld pointing device that detects two dimensional motion relative to a surface. This motion is typically translated into the motion of a pointer on a display, which allows a smooth control of the graphical user interface of a computer. Microphone. 
A microphone is a device that captures audio by converting sound waves into an electrical signal. This signal can, can be amplified as an analog signal or may be converted to a digital signal which can be processed by a computer or other digital audio device. Therefore, multiple classes of microphone exist. Now we will study webcam and scanner. A webcam is a digital video device commonly built into a computer. Its main function is to transmit pictures over the internet. It is popularly used with instant messaging services and for recording images. Scanner. A scanner is an input device that scans documents such as photographs and pages of text. This creates an electronic version of the document that can be viewed and edited on a computer. Most scanners are flatbed devices which means they have flat scanning surface. Output devices. An output device is any piece of computer hardware equipment which converts information into human readable form. It can be text, graphics, tactile, audio and video. Examples of output devices. Monitor, projector, headphones, printer, speakers are some examples of output devices. Monitor. A computer monitor is an output device that displays information in pictorial form. A monitor usually comprises the visual display circuitry, casing and power supply. Projector. A projector or image projector is an optical device that projects an image onto a surface, commonly a projection screen. Most projectors create an image by shining a light through a small transparent lens. But some newer types of projectors can project the image directly by using lasers. Headphones. Headphones are a pair of small loudspeakers drivers worn on or around the head over a user's ears. They are electrocaustic transducers which convert an electrical signals to a corresponding sound. Printer. In computing, a printer is a very fair machine which makes a persistent representation of graphic or text, usually on paper. While most output is a human readable barcode printers are an example of an expanded use for printers. Speakers. A speaker is an electrocaustic transducer, a device which converts an electrical audio signal into a corresponding sound. The most widely used type of speaker is a dynamic speaker. The sound source must be amplified or strengthened with an audio power amplifier before the signal is sent to the speaker. Storage devices. A computer storage devices is any type of hardware that stores data, for example, CD, DVD, Blu-ray disc, pen drive, etc. Here you can see images of storage devices. CD means compact disc. The compact disc is a digital optical disc data storage format that was co-developed by Philips and Sony to store and play digital audio recording. It was released in 1982 branded as digital audio compact disc. The format was later adapted for storage of data. DVD, Blu-ray disc and pendant. The DVD is a digital optical disc data storage format invented and developed in 1995 and released in late 1996. The medium can store any kind of data and was widely used for software and other computer files as well as video programs watched using DVD players. Blu-ray disc. The Blu-ray disc, often known simply as Blu-ray disc, is a digital optical disc storage format. It is designed to supersede the DVD format capable of storing several hours of video and high-definition video. 
pen drive. A pen drive is a small storage device shaped like a pen with with a port. An example of pen drive is a pen with hidden USB port or for saving data. Connection ports. In computer terms, a port generally refers to the part of computing device available for connection to peripherals such as input and output devices. Computer ports have many uses to connect a monitor, webcam, speakers, or other peripheral devices. And some examples of connection ports are USB port, VGA port, HDMI port, audio jack socket, PSZ port, etc. Here you can see some images of ports. Now, power supply unit. Modern personal computers universally use switched mode. Power supply. Some power supplies have a manual switches to selecting input voltage, while others automatically adapt to the main voltage. Thank you. Ria, do you understand anything? Yeah, Maika. Thank you so much, Maika and Niyati. In friendship, no sorry, no thank you. Only face, only smile on your beautiful face. Yeah, she is right. <laughs>